Hi everyone, this session is going to be a 15 minute tutorial on catching the ball on the back of your neck and how you can develop that, how you can push yourself, how you can add in some new skills. Now, to understand the type of movement you need to do to cushion the ball and get it on the back of your neck, we're gonna build it up from the start. So just to get you thinking about it in the right way, I want you to throw the ball up, nice and easy, and catch the ball on the back of your hand. And I want you to think about how you move the back of your hand to be able to catch the ball. So start off with a nice low throw and get that ball to balance on the back. Okay. As you get a little bit more confident, just start to serve the ball a little bit higher. Okay? So that's the first part of the exercise. Have a few practices with that. A little bit higher. You're starting to realize that you need to sort of move your hand down with the ball so the ball goes up you move your hand down just to cushion it and take the speed out of the ball now that's the same sort of thing you're going to do to catch the ball on the back of your neck okay and without the ball so without the pressure of having to deal with the ball and where it's moving and how you need to catch it we're just going to try and get into the right position without it so imagine you throw the ball up, you keep your eyes on the ball, and then as it comes down, you get your head under, you get under the ball like that, and you have your elbows up in the air with some chicken wings, okay? That creates a little bit of a sort of a pit in just behind your neck, in between your shoulder blades, and that's where the ball will sit. So just imagine you've got a ball, move your upper body down with the with the ball, the imaginary ball, move your body down and get those chicken wings in. Up, watch the ball and down like that. So just practice that, moving down as if the ball is coming onto the back of your neck. Just like you did with the back of your hand, same with the back of your neck. Ball up, get down. So you watch it and then get your head under and look forward and chicken wings up. Try and if you want to, once you get into that bottom position, just so you can feel it, just put your hand in there and it should be a nice dip, nice little valley where the ball can sit when you're catching the ball on the back of your neck. Okay, have a couple more practices with that and then we'll start to use the ball. control the serve okay to control the ball going up in the air we're going to start with our hands because you can control the ball with your hands better than you can with your feet okay and again a little bit like when we started with catching on the back of the hand serve it up a small amount first but it's got to be enough that it goes over your head you can watch the ball So, it needs to be high enough, but the higher it is, the more speed you have to take out of the ball, so the better you have to be at the skill. So you don't start throwing it too high, just nicely over your head, enough time to get yourself in the right position and try and catch the ball. And you're going to watch the edge of the ball, watch the edge of the ball, and try and dip under like that. Okay? And dip under like that. Chicken wings up and a nice valley to catch them. So again, drop down with the ball. So have a few practices with that. See if you can get it right. And again, if it's bouncing off the back of your neck, try and drop down even more. So you're moving down with the ball, cushioning the speed out of the ball. more practices if you're getting quite confident with that again like I said the better you are at the skill you can throw the ball that little bit higher okay. again start to challenge yourself now if you can do it you should be throwing the ball higher so that's kind of the next stage find it rolling down the back of your back 
make sure you get those wings up because that will help to keep the ball in the right position. Okay, another thing you can try from there, and something that I do need to work on with this particular skill, is you can try and do more than one. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll practice flicking the ball back up once you've caught it on your neck. And use the back of your head and flick the ball up. But you've got to try and get it to go up straight. So we're going to practice that. So that's gone a bit forward, the other one's gone a bit back. I'm going to try and flick the ball up straight. So I want it to go straight up so I can catch it in my hands without moving. Like that. Okay, so practice flicking it up off the back of your head so you sort of slumber whip your head and the ball goes up. Okay, so have a little practice with that. That can take us on to the next challenge. So once you can do it well, could you do two? And again, similar pattern, if you can do two, could you do three? One of the best videos I've seen is Robbie Keane, who used to play for Spurs, LA Galaxy, Liverpool, Ireland, Israel. Republic of Ireland's highest ever goal scorer, but there's a great YouTube clip of him doing loads and loads of catching it on his neck and flicking it up, catching it on his neck, flicking it up. So that's a good one to watch if you need some ideas of how good you can be at this skill. So once you can flick it up and catch the ball, then can you try to do more than one? So you've got to get the flick up right. I might not be able to do it on this video because, like I said, it's a skill that I do need to work on myself. Close, okay? So that's how you would do it. You do the same skill again and again, but because you're flicking it up off your neck, you've got to do it quite quick and get into position. So that's something to practice. So, like I said, the throwing the serve makes it easier to control, okay? So the next level that you would look to do is with a kick serve. So you've got to get your tap ups at the beginning right, okay? And if you're newer to your tap ups, it doesn't matter if you went kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce as long as you can kick it and give yourself the right type of serve. So it doesn't matter how you do your tap ups. If you can do them with no bounces, because that's obviously the highest level of skill with, with your tap ups. And then you're gonna work like that. And then you've got to give yourself the best possible serve. Trying to catch it on your, on your neck like that. Okay, so again. Okay, more chicken wings there, the ball slightly rolled off. Okay, so now practice that. Practice that with kick serves and see how you get on. Again, if you're, if you're working indoors, not the best skill. You need, that, you need outdoors and you need space to work on this. So make sure you're not working indoors on this. Because like I said, when you're kicking the ball up, you need the space and you need the chance to make mistakes and have bad touches and put it in the wrong place. Notice the ones that dropped off, it's because my chicken wings aren't up enough and I'm not creating enough of a place to keep the ball in there. Okay, so keep working with your kick serves, keep working on those, practice them. Okay, what you want to try and do with the, the serve is try not to have the ball spinning. 
when you do your tap ups and you get the ball spinning back to you, that puts a lot of back spin on the ball. Okay. If that back spin hits your neck, it will roll down the back of your, your back. Okay, so you want to just try and, if you can, just knock the ball up as flat as you can with your foot. Stops the spin on the ball and gives you a nice flat, non-spinning ball to catch, which just makes it a little bit easier to start with. As you get better, you'll be able to deal with the spin, but that's something to, to work on. Didn't quite watch the edge of the ball well enough there. Can you get my chicken wings up? Again, didn't quite get the angle right. So once I can do it with a kit serve, I could then try and do multiple ones. So I get it up, catch it on my neck, flick it up, catch it again. Okay, so I have one more try, see if I can do a double. Um, like I said, not something that's my best skill. this video up guys and take all these mistakes out but I think it's important to see them and the things that you do that can go wrong okay because they're the same sort of things that you'll go through um, as you're trying to learn the skill so got to get the serve right didn't control the spin there didn't get my arms up then didn't move my feet well enough go back to a throwing serve so I want to try and show you doing it more than once okay that's about as close as I'm gonna get now next challenges you can do um, I can't do the taking the shirt off on not quite practice that enough and not quite good enough at that yet but I think if I practice it I'll be able to do it but once you've got the ball down Sorry, once you've got the ball on the back of your neck, next little challenge to see if you can keep it balancing there is can you go down into a press up, do a press up and then stand back up. So let's have a try. So that's the next challenge. Okay, there are some other higher level freestyle things you can go on to, and if you look onto YouTube, that'll tell you those things. So um, that's how you can progress the skill. But if you can get to that, then that'd be brilliant. Then you have to sort of push yourself, go and find out how you roll it down the back of your legs, flick it up from the press up position, and stand back up. But we'll have a little bit more of a practice at that. So just see if you can balance it on your neck. See if you can go down into that press-up position. Like I said, go down slowly, get your elbows up, okay? And try and go down very controlled, very controlled. Keep your head up, keep that little, little groove there where you can hold the ball.
difference. So that's 15 minutes of working on catching the ball on the back of your neck and how you build it up. As you can see from my demos, I'm not a world-class freestyler at catching the ball on the back of my neck. It's a, a skill that I can just about do, but progressing to multiple ones, going down and doing press-ups and things like that is quite a good challenge for me. So hopefully I've shown you how to go from just understanding the movement off the back of your hand all the way to some quite good level skills. But if you look at some of the mistakes I've made, not getting my arms up, not moving my feet well enough, not moving down with the ball, all those things are the same sort of things that you've got to look at when you're doing it to try and make sure that you're learning and getting better each time. Okay, if it goes wrong, there's a reason. So either you haven't moved down with the ball, didn't get your arms up, you were too slow and the ball bounced off your neck, your serve had too much spin on it. So all little things like that, things to look at. But good luck with it. Um, and hopefully you can master that skill. And it'd be amazing if you can move past what we've done today and test yourself down the road. But that's probably for the, the older players.